Hey up guys, it's Mikey from the Old Farm Bus here. I'm just going to do a quick little preamble before this podcast starts. I had James Mather from Lady Rose, I hope you've checked them out because they're a really good band from Nottingham, on at Christmas time and we had a few sherries on the bus, we're having a really good time and then trolls got brought up into conversation. I thought that James had a really good slant and twist at the idea of how we treat trolls and not seeing it all as a negative and getting upset, angry, overworked about it or even just getting rid of it and pretending it doesn't exist. He's gone with a different approach and I really appreciated that idea. So I wanted to get him on the podcast and talk about that with you. He's sort of turned this into a new art form and he's managing to win trolls round and get them onto their platform. Uh, I just really like his approach. It's very funny. Throughout this podcast, uh, if you watch it on YouTube, I've put loads of little snippets up of all the conversations he's had, all the encounters, and they are very funny. The conversation's very funny, and I just really enjoyed it. So hopefully you've got some takeaway tips and tricks to deal with trolls, meanies, meanie bobinies, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, I called James before this podcast the Troll Slayer, but actually we find out throughout the podcast that he's a bit more of a troll therapist. So listen in, hope you enjoy it. Big love. Thank you for subscribing. Got some new merch. If you want any, just let us know. Really enjoying this podcast. Thank you, James Mather, for being a part of it. And go and check out Lady Rose. Hello, and welcome to the Old Farm Bus Podcast. This is the Back of the Bus Session. Hello and welcome to the Old Farm Bus Back of the Bus Sessions podcast. Today I've got a good mate on with me. He's been on before with his lovely partner. You performed to me. We had a right laugh. I got pissed. Did you get pissed? Usually. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all a little bit tipsy on that, but I had a great time. Yeah, it's cool. But I've got you back, mate, because I thought we could have gone down a lot of avenues and adventures. So, welcome to the bus, James Mather. Hello. How are you? I go mental, mate. <laughs> Got to get not, in that energy. I'm still not thawed out. <laughs> the bottom arse just sat there. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> it's cold on this bus, guys. Can you see my breath? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, James. Hello. One avenue we wanted to go down because mm. we've been in touch and we thought it'd be good for people to to know about. And this is what you make me smile a lot when I see you. It's your cheeky face, but also when I don't see you, but you're doing social media things, it says Lady Joe, but I know it's you. Lady Rose, sorry. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is Lady Rose commenting back, but it's about this long, and it's hilarious, and you're just attacking someone. Yeah, you can <laughs> tell by tr- the spelling. Yeah. Like, J- J- Joe's pretty good at it. That's James. <laughs> <laughs> That's James, because I'm having to uh, read it about ten times. So, like, what? <laughs> so you, for me, are the uh, troll slayer. That's what I'm going to know you by now. Yeah. Because uh, you, what you did, you, you said something the other day, I was saying, like, oh, I think, I think James does the marketing. No. <laughs> Joe does the marketing. Joe okay. does all the uh, main things on the page right. all the nice stuff my job is basically just to get drunk ruin uh, live streams <laughs> and then reply to people giving us abuse that's it so Joe takes it quite serious then and does all the good bits so you're putting in money on it do you do Facebook ads and stuff as well or yeah, we have done yeah in the past so she's taken form of all that mm-hmm. and your job is just to when somebody said something a bit mean does joe sort of go james and then you take over the phone yeah, yeah. that's basically it yeah <laughs> i don't even bother playing the guitar anymore <laughs> really? so yeah, don't, don't bother don't play music just just talk to these guys that's it <laughs> have you always been that way because obviously when you're starting music and you're trying mm. to make your way in the industry everyone tries to play it proper Mm -hmm. i suppose the word could be and you don't want to cause bridges you don't want to burn them particularly against people and you want to conduct yourself so you look professional in all the avenue so you've been in it a while now together though you've been actually made it a living you're performing weddings you've pubs you're all over the place it's done yeah You've got that ticket. You're mm. professional musicians in my eyes. Yeah. Still need to get you for my sister's wedding. I've, I keep forgetting to message you on that. <laughs> I'll probably just get shit back though. <laughs> Was this a question? I'm still lost. What have we ever got? We're we going to go with a question for it. <laughs> right. So you want <laughs> you want to conduct yourself properly f- yes. to start. Then when you become professional musicians, right. have you got to a point where you've lost caring and you can say shit to people now or were you always a bit like that you thought no this is how i am and how i want to conduct myself 
that's a very long way around the answer of saying, have you always been a dickhead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk. It's a podcast. <laughs> We're filling time here, James. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I was with you all the way to chapter one, and then and then you went off on the other thing, and then so, I was going to say about the sisters. But right, so I, I think I, have I always I been caught a you out with the sister question, like you did. before my sister's wedding. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting. So to I was ask getting my that. diary out for that one, <laughs> yeah. and then I've lost the other bit. The bit what I was saying is yes. when you start in music. Mm-hmm. And you're acting in a proper way. You're conducting your social media properly. I see what you're saying, right? No, I'm you're not. You. You're not shouting at people. But then later on, when it's become professional for you and you're doing it, yes. Do you sort of lose bother then? And you're like, you know what? I can be more myself and have a go at trolls. What I, again? Then I see. I see where I see where you're going down with that line. What I would say is that when you first start in anything, there's always those nerves, isn't there? Mm. Like, so mm. you're, you're a bit unsure of yourself. Yeah. And you're not sure how to conduct yourself with things. And, and I've, I'll hold my hands up. When I first started, the nerves got the better of me. And sometimes I, I wouldn't react as well to the, the situation of performing live or yeah. certain people and, and whatever else. Because we we'll, we'll all do it, you know what I mean? Mm. We've, all, um, we've all struggled with uh, maybe some feedback. Or even if it's not feedback, just how to, to, how to carry yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in terms of like social media... I've never really got on board with it. It's never been something that I've ever cared about, okay. I'll be honest. Because when you go online... Even back in day? Even back in day. Wow. No, okay. but back in the day, come on, as you explained before, I'm an old man. <laughs> back in the day, we didn't have all this Facebook. <laughs> Big mistake, that. <laughs> <laughs> James is an older, older fella. Uh, older than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, this old guy didn't have Facebook back in the day. We didn't yeah. have sort of social media. So it's kind of a new thing to me in sort of mid-twenties. So maybe I missed out on when I was maybe 15, 16. Mm. It is different. But as you get older and life experiences, and you've got these people online and... At first, when we first started, we didn't get any abuse. There was it was all just positive, and it's sunshine and flowers, and mm, everything's brilliant. Mm. And oh, we love your video. <laughs> but then we got a video. Uh, Joe was singing um, "Rise Up" by Andrew Day, and it got shared on Music Crowns, awesome. which is a massive platform, and, they, and it got a mil- yeah, it got like a million views and Blimey. all that. But with that, obviously, you're getting the reach out there, Here so you're getting come. so you're not getting just. Um, Pat down the road, and you've asked to like the thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting somebody in America, somebody in Australia, wow. and all these different characters and people are seeing this. They don't know who you are. They've never met you from Adam. Mm. They just see this person singing. Don't register that it's a person. It's just a video. Yeah. And the comment. <laughs> so <laughs> I've always been down the line of take everything, whether it's positive or negative, take it the same. Mm. It's nice to have positive things and it's nice to hear the nice things and mm. oh, brilliant. But don't get too sort of entrapped with, oh, I'm great because somebody says I'm great. Stay on mm. the same level. And it's exactly the same when somebody says something negative. Like the song uh, Sunscreen. Have you seen that? It's no. a Baz Luhrmann song, but he just gives life, life advice for about five minutes through a song. Mm. But he always says, don't berate yourself or hate yourself too much. Just be. Yeah. And I, I, I really like that because for me, I've had... An array of lovely comments in the past when I performed at a school or done something, and you can go on your inbox and be, "Oh, my ego is burning here." Yeah, yeah, of course. Slightly, but I try and not let it grow me too much. But then when I get a negative comment, which isn't very often, but that's the crippler. That's mm. the one that hits you right in the soul, and it's sort of where you've, particularly if it's something you've told yourself, like, "Oh, I, I'm not very good to beat," or "I'm not very rhythmical," even though my name's Rhythmical Mike. Okay. And somebody picks up oh, you shit on a beat, you go, oh, that was the thing that I said most about myself and he said it, so it must be true. And then you crimple, you, like, crimple yeah. yourself yeah, on yeah. that. You know what I mean? So it's interesting. I love what you've just said then. I think that's great advice for young art- artists. Well, there's, I mean, there's, you've, sort of, you've asked me a question and I've, I've sort of started on something, but there's, there's so many different avenues, avenues I can, and avenues I yeah, can go yeah. down with this because there's mm. more to it. It's like anything else. It's never, nothing's ever black and white. No. There's there's more to it. The there's, nuance, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so like like you, you you said there about you you get crippled by what they say. Of course, nobody wants to hear any, anything negative. Mm. But you've taken one thing negative mm. and fixated on that. But you've got a hundred things positive. Yeah. Yeah. If you treat everything the same, so mm. when somebody gives you a nice comment, it's it's lovely and mm. thank you so much. And people are taking the time out of the day, and it's brilliant. And I'm not saying to people don't give nice comments because do it's brilliant and it helps. Mm. The negative comment 
should be considered the same as that. It's just an opinion at the end of the day. Yeah. Is it? Does it matter? No. no. Not really. <laughs> no. Do I know that person? Do I give a tuppenny fart whether I think I'm good or not? No. But anything in life you've got to use as a positive and mm. you've got to take it, no matter how good or how bad it is, deal with the situation and turn it into a positive. Because mm. otherwise, you, you spend your life surrounded by negativity. Mm. So... <laughs> Again, there's Good so segue. we've we've got we've, there's going to be a lot covered in this. By yeah. the way, but we get a negative comment. You want people to comment on your videos because it it expands the reach. If somebody gives you a positive comment, there's only so far you can go with it. Mm. So if somebody pops your comment and says, "Oh, that was brilliant. I loved it. Thank you very much," and then after that, well. Mm. Go on to here here's and find out. Here's a link. And, yeah. and then it kind of goes dead. Mm. Somebody leaves you a negative comment. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Have they ever met you? No. Don't no. Most of the time, not. Most of the time, not. Mm. So they don't know you. They have come on there for a reason. Now, you don't know that reason why they've decided to do it. But there's something in their day that has made them decide that I'm going to comment on something and I'm going to do it in a negative way. Mm. And they've picked you. Okay. <laughs> so how do you respond to that? If you want to get somebody to like you, mm. how do you how do you react to them? How do you how do you come across when they've come in a negative way? No, no, no. Any time, any time. Yeah, try and be optimistic and positive and kind, compassionate back. Exactly. And nine times out of ten, people are going to like that. So if somebody's coming with a negative way, do you think you're going to win them over by going negative back and having a go at them? Mm. What do you mean I'm crap? You're crap. You're like, well, mm. you've not won anything. So. How you go about these people, <laughs> treat them the same as the nice people. Go back with a smile on your face and reply to them. And you'll find that the negative ones are going to reply more than the positive. Because these guys, are, for some reason, have got an opinion. Wound up and ready. Yeah. But mm. you've got to understand why these people are doing it. And there's this big sort of um, name, troll. Yeah. Oh, they're a troll. Mm. What does that mean? Mythical figure. A mythical figure. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, they're all trolls and more this and whatever. You need to learn then, if we're going to call them trolls, there's different type of trolls, yeah? Yeah. And there's there's some that are just, uh, might be doing it for the banter. Mm. So they might be saying it and they just want to do it because they're going to wait for you to kick off, screenshot it and it's going straight into their WhatsApp with their mates and they're going to have some crack on this. Like, guess what they've got them doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so there's that side of the trolls. Yeah. Then you've got the ones who are, are unhappy with themselves mm -hmm. and to make themselves feel better they want everyone else to feel sad mm -hmm. then you've got the ones who just genuinely are that opinionated mm. you've got ones that want to be heard yeah they've got mm. ones that are unhappy with what they do say for example we're using music in this context mm -hmm. but they might be a musician and they're not happy with themselves as a musician so don't want the ones who are doing well to, and it's almost yeah, that yeah, kind of, of bit of jealousy so I like to find out who these trolls are. Wow. So rather than just letting them, because the reason they've gone there, they want their, they've obviously taken the time to type because they want people to see what they're saying, don't they? Mm -hmm. Here are then, go on my thing, improve my comments. So mm. keep commenting so my reach is going up. Here's your platform. And I respond to them. And it's, I've got, I mean, you've seen, you've seen some of my responses. And things. It's, it's fantastic. But it I don't is. go in, because it's easy. Because the way I see it, it's like a game of chess. Yeah. When these comment, I'm like, game on. Yeah. So I get me, I get <laughs> my God. smoking jacket on, man. I get my, <laughs> my brandy. <laughs> and then, yeah, oh, yes. Your move. Okay. Next move. Mm -hmm. And then I, and then we, we go from there. Whereas Dude. if you start kicking off at them and getting mad about it, you're essentially just smashing the board, saying, fair play, you've won. And a good thing to pick up on this, and maybe it's also part of you being a salesman and you're quite good with business, mm. but the more you comment Again, and get another, people to another, comment... Another polite way of saying dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's going to be lots of little convoluted ways of me calling you a dick <laughs> yeah. in this podcast. <laughs> it's going to keep coming out. <laughs> so you're a dick. <laughs> Guilty as charged, sir. <laughs> you've definitely been in sales before, and that... You know, it's a clever idea to get people. It doesn't matter. I listened to this in a Netflix documentary. I can't remember mm. what it's called, but it was a manager of Alice Cooper. I don't know if you watched it. Yeah. Uh, no, I've not watched it. I know you mean that. But he said, it doesn't matter what we get, what attraction, just make attraction happen. Yeah. Go to this gig. We're going to throw feces or rats or anything in the crowd and just be, be known, be heard. Mm. And then they get 
publishers and people coming in to talk about them, write up about them, don't watch this gig. So everyone went and watched that gig. It was really interesting. But same with comments. If you get a hundred people commented on something, and straight away, I look at it and go, what has James done now? <laughs> what has he said? And I'll, I'll read down it for yeah, ages. Man. And it, it's pretty good for business, really. So yeah. you're coming, when you said come from a positive, even though you can be nice back, and then it starts to wean into name calling and getting funny and tactical, mm. but you're creating something good for yourselves because you're creating attention, really. But that's the thing as well. When I respond, I never say anything that bad. No. Because at the, at the end of the day, I don't it's want to upset. It's playful. That's what I mean. You're not yeah. being horrible. I don't, at the end of the day, I don't want to upset anyone. No. I never, I mean, don't get me wrong. We all make mistakes in life and you do upset people, but I've never intentionally gone out there and thought, I'm going to upset that person. Mm. And if I have it, I have it. It's just one of them things. Life. But it's life. Mm. So when these people are messaging, I often think the reason the messaging, and nine times out of ten, mm. is because they're not happy. Mm. If you're happy and you're content in life, you don't, need to go you don't want to make people. No, of course you don't. And, you, and you, especially if like you're good at what you're doing, you, you're happy doing what you're doing. Mm. Why would you want to make somebody feel bad? You want you want people to be happy, and that's what are the you, you named a few categories of trolls. Yes. What what are your, <laughs> what are your main <laughs> categories that you manage to encounter um well so again it varies but nine times out of ten it is people who are unhappy mm. and they're not happy themselves and i say we will touch on this further because i've given you some examples yeah, that we will go gonna, into if you're watching this on youtube or if you're listening to it on spotify watch it on youtube because i'm going to put all these encounters up yeah because we're just we're just having <laughs> a bit messages. of a, we're having a little bit of a random ramble at the minute but there will be some more <laughs> stuff that we will go into that you'll, you'll see why i'm saying some things i'm saying but um, yeah, nine times out of ten, it's just unhappy people, and they've got an opinion and they want to voice it. And they, when they comment something negative, they want something negative back, and then that just shows them that that well, the person that you do is a dickhead, and yeah, it just yeah. and, it, and it validates their opinion of you. So you won't give them that. No, no, <laughs> no, and hate me for it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go in, you, you, sort of that bit of a sometimes passive aggressive, sometimes like for example. Somebody goes, you're shit at the guitar, mm. or something like that. And I just go, yeah, I know, mate. And I get paid for it. It's bloody brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> I can't, yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? I'm awful. And I get paid, great. And then what do you say to that? Mm. So I've sort of... <laughs> I don't know where I'd go from that. Exactly. <laughs> Never take yourself seriously in mm. life, yeah? I mean, take your profession seriously. Take your life seriously mm. but don't take yourself seriously afford that laugh at yourself you know what i mean mm. because trust me if you're not laughing at yourself other people will be yeah learn to embrace it you know what i mean two parts of that so a lot of people always just go with a ethos just ignore it delete it get rid of it you, you you're missing out on so much <laughs> by deleting yeah that's really? the thing if you I know these people, they've got that term toxic. Mm. Why do you care what somebody who you've never met, mm. never will meet, yeah. thinks about you? So you're saying you create toxicity into your life. If you see it as toxic and value it is toxic, it's going to be toxic. Yeah, of course. And by it's the way, going to inevitably come. You've learned a way of not seeing it as that. I, I really, I think that's such a good attitude to have. It's, it's a very rare attitude. Yeah. Though. Yeah. People and are what, black and white nowadays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm. what I'm saying now is my opinion and what works for me so it might not work for everyone mm, but if mm. it does if there's one person listening to this and it's helped yeah yeah i'm buzzing off that because it, it it's helped it's helped us because it reach could be the platform where the, we this are. podcast we're doing now a jolly and a giggle and just yeah. looking at times we've had and going back and forth with people but for a good majority of young people in particular i'm thinking of yeah their mental health is so malleable on what people say to them mm. and tr trolls is a loosely term fit in but it's creating a lot of mental health in people on how they're being spoken to so yeah. if they could implement a bit of this teaching that you're saying don't get attached to it don't take it serious and just be playful with it don't even look at deleting it or tuning out 
maybe realign how you see it i think it, it, it's valuable it's something i've even started doing i had a, something yeah. the other day i said to you <laughs> I, I sound like salad fingers when i spit and you give me a bit of a good uh a back <laughs> to be fair though, i've never even heard of that swing. and i had to google it but he's set me he's given me some ammo that because <laughs> yeah. if you think that's the last you've heard of that one salad, salad, fingers. <laughs> salad fingers i, I can't remember the old salad fingers to you james <laughs> i'll never live out of it <laughs> i couldn't remember who it was because I, I, I was like what was that bloke called and i was gonna call you dick fingers oh. when so, no, I've got, what was that guy? Hey, hey old Dick Fingers. Yes, Tommy Dick Fingers. What's did you saying? watch it then? The Rusty Spoons bit? Yeah. <laughs> I like spoons. Oh, dude, it's kind of scary. I, I hope I don't sound like that. I told you, I'm an old man. I don't know all this. <laughs> if it won in, ni- if it won in 1973, I've never heard of it. I've mate. got a lot of education for you, brother, after this. <laughs> badger, 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 mushroom. You won't know that. <laughs> it's a good one. That's for my young fans out there. Good guys. <laughs> the young fans on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so go on then can we hear a few instances have you got anything with you where the, my favorite thing you do that i've seen is turning people round. so they've started Sorry? off <laughs> they've started oh. off really mean said yes. something <laughs> not in that way okay. <laughs> but they've said something horrible yeah. you go through a back and forth for maybe 20 comments and then they're like I will get a CD, actually. <laughs> well, my me, me favourite one with that was there was a guy mess- and I said, we'll, we'll not say his name or anything mm, like yeah, that. Yeah, no name. Because he's it. still on my friends list. <laughs> <laughs> this one makes me laugh. So we, this video goes out on music crowns. Yeah. So it's, it's a scene around the world, millions of people. And this one guy comments, um, this American guy, um, he was sort of having a go at Joe for his facial expressions when she sings because she's quite expressive. Yeah. And why I don't know why that's a bad thing because mm. I'm I'm not being funny, but like you look at any top singers, they're yeah. all expressive. Mm. I mean, what's his name? Andy Fairweatherlow. Young people won't know this one, <laughs> but, but Google Andy Fairweatherlow. Yeah, and badgy badgy mushroom. Ba- <laughs> <laughs> but he was all, he was slated back in the day for not moving his face when he sang. You know what I mean? So you get slated if you do, if you don't. Mm. Anyway, mm. this guy made a comment about the faces, saying it was absolutely ridiculous faces and. Why do people feel the need to do it? You look stupid in this, that, and the other. Mm, mm. So rather than kicking off about it, are you going to do the little thing so it comes up on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look technology. Here now. Oh, technology. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Well, we say we didn't have all this when I was a kid. We just had like uh, <laughs> records and. I'll be scrolling through all of them, mate. Don't you worry. This is coming up in YouTube. So watch this in YouTube, We just have flip books. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> I can't put a pop-up book in this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking old. Right. So the. Yeah. So. Um, He's, he's commented this, so I, was, I replied to him, I said, well, if you don't like the facial expressions, I can't fault you, mate, we've not got the best fizzog, but if you don't like the uh, facial expressions, please go to our Spotify, where there's, I guarantee there'll be no facial expressions anymore, and then afterwards, just <laughs> pulled a face, apart from these ones, and sent it him. <laughs> anyway, he pops me a message, like, and he, was, he said, you know what, he said, that actually made me laugh, he says, I'm so sorry, and, we, and I got a bit of back and forth. Then he starts telling me more about his life and uh, what? Yeah, me. Why? Because he just he obviously had a bad day. Yeah. And the fact that he'd said something, he was expecting a response. He was mm. expecting me to come back and there'd be an argument. And then, and then he got that release where he could just be this angry person. Mm. But because I'd just come back with something positive and I had a laugh about it. Yeah. It changed his perspective, and, mm. it, and I got talking to him and whatever. And it, it was like a counselling session in the end, like sort of giving him a bit of advice <laughs> on how to deal with things, and if you get angry and, and if you feel like that, how to respond. And I don't feel let so people... bad that I called you the troll slayer because <laughs> you're definitely oh, no, not no. that. You're the troll counselor. <laughs> troll counselor, brother. Oh, great. Yeah, you do right. a great job here. Yeah? yeah, man. Because and I don't brand it. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy and I'm content. Mm. And if you're happy, why inflict misery on others? Exactly, yeah. Mm. And it, it, you, listen, you're not going to turn everyone around, and everyone's going to be like, "Oh, your best mate," as soon as they start giving you abuse. But I've managed to do it with quite a lot now, man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it it, it does work. <laughs> it does work. So the, the other good ones that you do, I'm guessing you get these more on Instagram. But do you know when people are trying to sell you something from another country, or uh, mm. often where's it from? Bali or something like that. <laughs> you, you, your back and forths go for hours you you end up getting married don't you you end up getting when's we having a baby oh yeah i love that well that was no what that was it wasn't selling something dude it goes for hours though of conversation oh, yeah. these are days love it Come Still, on. i've got some time with me yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah the, really um, enjoy it a lot of the ones obviously the message because obviously our band's lady rose check us out please subscribe we're on youtube we're on spotify we're on facebook we're on 
What are we on? We could go through all the platforms, couldn't we? Yeah. Uh, Deezer, is that one? Probably. No. <laughs> Either way, find He's us. Lady Rose. On Deezer. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Rose Nottingham. Subscribe. Napster. I bet you're on all of them, aren't you? I ain't got a clue. Do you know what you used it's to distribute, shows, just on a side note? Is it dis- Distro, Distro Kids? Kids? Yeah, I oh, use that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, just click down all them. Yeah. Smash it out. No yeah, tactics at all. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, I think we're on all of them anyway. That's if not, just keep searching till you find us and subscribe and like. Lady, and, and very, very good. And they've been on this podcast, so please uh, subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. <laughs> the old farm bus. I'm learning from the best. Yeah, man. You <laughs> what are we on about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The people where you end up marrying them. Oh, right. Yeah, so they messaged the page called, uh, obviously, we're called Lady Rose. You've got uh, Joanne, who's my message. She's the singer, and you've got mm. me. So they see Lady Rose, and they think her name's Rose, mm. and just assume that it's her. You're the thorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm meant to be fair. But, um, yeah, so they just see her. So when they message the page, right. they think they're messaging her, which nine times out of yeah. ten they are, but I'm also admin. Yeah. So I can see what's been said. Makes sense. As soon as they come on, start chatting her up and stuff like that. Dude. Pass the phone. (laughs) (laughs) How how often is that out of interest? Quite a lot. Is it? Yeah, we've had quite a lot. And is it, it's not just people of other countries and stuff. Is it people in the UK that are trying to chat? Yeah, we had a few. Really? (laughs) (laughs) Dick pics? We'll get on to that one. (laughs) We'll get on to that one. So the. That's in part two. But the, uh, the this this one particular one that I sent you over the other day, yeah, he starts chatting up, and obviously his English isn't too great. So I've just been having a bit of back and forth, like banter, because he don't know quite know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but then he gets down the line of he wants a picture. Mm. Anyway, uh, this is coming up as well on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, hold the phone. I'm just nipping upstairs. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> two minutes later. <laughs> what are you doing in my bra drawer? <laughs> Give me, oh, that's expensive lippy. Give me that back. <laughs> the extremes you go to do this. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, if you're going to do anything. Do it put, proper. Yeah, man. You've got to oh, put some effort man. in. Okay. You've got to put some effort in. Yeah. So I sent him that picture. Are you man? <laughs> no. Yes. No. <laughs> Did he, he still carried it on, though, after oh, I carried it on for ages. Oh, yeah. He was a trier. So, because he asked you if you'd been through a transformation, didn't he? Yeah. Did you say you'd been through it? Or. I think I, I think I said I got it booked in. Can't remember. <laughs> got it booked in. I just love his tenacity. He was still up for it. I went on a date All with the him. Way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a flight booked and everything. <laughs> Come on. So you've got those that y- you don't really know who you're approaching there because mm-hmm. it could be uh, not robots a lot of the time, but they want to sell you something or they're going down a weird path. But have you had then people from the UK then? Yeah, yeah, that because that creeps me out a bit. I've had it on um, the old farm bus page, yeah. and blokes sort of. Chris has shared a picture up of herself cleaning the floor or something in the bus, just as a post, and they're like, "Oh, fit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some of that." And I, I like that we've both admins on our pages, so we see the madness. Well, as I replied during the Lady Rose, like, "Oh, you're cute and sexy and all oh, this," God. and I said, "Well, you wouldn't see that if he was uh, seeing the bloke sat in his pants replying to you." <laughs> that was one of my favourite comments, <laughs> man. That actually had me creasing. Yeah, put him put him right off his stroke. But that m- did. Most guys would feel very, not to want to say worried, but angry by all that. Any comments, messages in the box. You, again, yeah. took it on that. Just use humour. Humour is key. Well, it is what it is. I mean, you yeah. can't get mad about stuff. At the end of the day, it's kind of flattering. If somebody's on there yeah. saying, like, the fancy... Well, <laughs> I suppose yeah, you look at it, but they're saying, like, oh, she's good-looking, whatever. Yeah. How are you going to get angry about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what 100%. it is. 100%. So go on and but then the, the dick pics yeah because I can see you edging I'm, towards I am that. that's where I'm edging you can just quick I just want to know yeah, the only <laughs> was reason I've got you here <laughs> yeah. oh, was it well I tell you what I'll put it this way it was I, mine <laughs> I wouldn't have been bragging about it if it had been really? me personally I wouldn't have gone in that as was my it first straight away life. slapped on well, <laughs> for want of a better term Good but use. yeah the um, we were sat in bed one night watching telly whatever yeah and Joe's phone came buzzing I was like turn your internet off so she picks it up and as she picked it up, it automatically went through to this video call. And there's a chat there. So, oh, press the finger. Flicking me back on. I've yeah. been watching enough to know. Come yeah. <laughs> Click the link. Well versed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, um, yeah, he's there sort of giving himself Anne Shandy like on the picture. And Joe goes, oh my God, and goes to shut it off. I goes, no, give me the phone. So I get the phone and I screenshot and I managed to get it in action. Yeah. Wow. 
but he'd obviously then heard my voice sort of and panicked and whipped his kegs oh, back up. Oh, dude. But what I managed to do was screenshot it in mid-flow whilst he's got it out yeah, angry and giving it a good it, slap. Time. Yeah. What is it? Tommy Tank? Oh, he's loving it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, proper. He's going for it. <laughs> Ian Jury, that's yeah, in man. the song. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so he did that. So I managed to go back onto his profile picture and just screen, copy and paste it onto his uh, wall and kept posting it all oh, the way down dude. his Facebook page. Really? And as he was deleting it, I was putting five on. So he was trying to delete <sighs> it frantically, but there was more and more of it going with him knocking one off. And I could see that he was getting reactions as well. Oh, so obviously people dude, could see it. Dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I just get sent it. So he eventually managed to block me, but yeah, not before yeah. people had seen it. Oh, mate. <laughs> I mean, he's coming to your box. <laughs> he's coming to your territory. Mate, that's illegal. You can't it just, is you, bad. It's you bad. Imagine if he'd have done that in the street. Yeah. He's got his... No, man, I was knocking one off to a woman. Yeah. It's, it is funny. Um, Disgusting, man. Women... Women that go through that, they get the most stick from posting it on. <laughs> you go back a little bit and go, hang on a minute, have you seen what this guy sent to her? I know. And <laughs> I think they're entitled to do what they want with that picture if it's coming to their inbox. Damn right. Well, it, should be, I mean, it should be a police matter, mate. Yeah, you know it is I mean? a police matter. <laughs> it definitely is. Jesus but I, I just find it so strange that they get the backlash. But I, oh, I've seen on comments. I, I've, never where, seen, I've never seen where a woman's got the backlash. Yeah, that she too. posted it on calling them out and people like shouldn't have done that this is a police matter take it here you don't put it on social media don't put it here um, I, I, don't I don't know, know. i don't I, know I because think, then you, you you don't know who it's going out to but there again if it's on his facebook wall i think it's it, I, I, maybe it's a life lesson it's a, definitely a big hopefully lesson. you'll never do it definitely again. a you big lesson I mean? and it, maybe it's you need to call them out show show the village, <laughs> show the town, show yeah. your community what they're doing. I mean, wrong. I just found it, to be perfectly honest, I just found it hilarious because yeah. you could see he was panicking just Dude. by the late rate he was trying to delete Mate, it. I'll tell you this, <laughs> uh, on Snapchat for me, yeah. there was a guy from Travelling that used to fancy the high hell out of me. And the, I think the thing with some gay people, and I, that I've had conversations with gay people, so I can mm. say this story... A kink they've got a lot of the time is turning straight people gay. Right. That's a conversation I've shared with gay friends. And they're like, yeah, I just like the idea Can of Can I this. just say that this guy knocking one off didn't turn me? No. <laughs> like, really... <laughs> to be fair to him, though. Not even not... curious? No. Not by curious? Well, like... it, to be fair, he got a decent length on him. But he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't even a shower. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, if, if I'd got one that, that size, yeah. like yeah. even when it was angry, yeah. I'd be going in trying to sell my personality. <laughs> I wouldn't be knocking one off in front of people. <laughs> Because, I mean, I wouldn't even whip yeah. that out on a date. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Awful. Could you imagine sort of just sat there with your steak and he's like, and that's what you get after dessert. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But he's gone straight in Not with well. the, he's gone straight in with the little <laughs> twiglet. So, again, this is, it, I thought, really harmless fella, sound as oat. So, yeah, don't mind yadding me on whatever. Yeah. We've been travelling. So, you know, back in the day, Snapchat was a lot for girls and whatever for yeah, me. Yeah. But he'd, I'd always get a message from me. I never opened it. I just thought, I, I don't want to Snapchat you. Message me if you want to say some nice one. One day, I just decided to open it. And it was just an array of erect knobs. <laughs> just different, different proportion of it, different size, different style, everything like that. Or like, it, was it an art project? Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> different way of taking a picture. Um, so I looked down. And I just went, mate, what are you doing? Seriously, that is that is illegal. If I'd done that to a girl, this is a police matter. I'm not going to take it any further or get too angry by it. But I'm a bit pissed off. I don't want to see that. It's wrong. I, and I even I explained I've got a missus. I'm happy. I'm cool. Yeah. I've got all this. But he just continued to do it. It was a mission for him. So I started uh, taking screenshots of him. <laughs> and then drawing on them. Yeah, you've got to win. Chrissy. <laughs> we, we'd turn them into like Marge Simpson, you know, with the long blue hair and stuff. And one time I, I caught myself doing it. I thought, I've been looking at dicks far too long now. <laughs> it was way too long. It, it'd become an art project for me then. To the fact, to the point where you're actually going out searching for them to just get get the right angle and lighting on them. You know, of course. And all my mates that were up for it, yeah. <laughs> tapping people on the toilet in the, in the shoulder. Excuse me, mate. I couldn't help notice. Do you remember if I just took a quick picture? Of that? And that, from your philosophy, what you're saying now. First of all, my gut reaction was angry i yeah, kind of want yeah, to punch course. him on the nose a little bit for that what he'd done but then later on 
I totally turned it round, thought I'd use humour, send some back, but I felt better. Instead of feeling angry at myself, and he's not even going to know, or angry at him, I just thought, it's not affecting me, it's on my phone, I'll just... Yeah. Make, make a picture out of it and have a laugh and I really did I started having a right good time doing yeah. too good of a time <laughs> yeah. not too good at it yeah. <laughs> but yeah but that's, but that's the kind of the joy of social media you have got that time mm. so sometimes things might get said and you do get that gut reaction and Wah. but then don't reply if you're mm. feeling like that take mm. a second take yourself away have a breather mm. think about it think about the bigger picture yeah who the hell are these people does it matter i'm not on about yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. sexual assault yeah because that's what it is kind of when, yeah. when they're sending dick pics to women i mean that's gets very ropey doesn't yeah, it yeah that's dodgy i mean we're, but we're on sort of like more if i'm going back to the um like online abuse where yeah. it's just name yeah. calling and stuff Take yourself away, mm. calm yourself down, don't let it affect you. Why would you let it affect mm. you? Does it matter? But there was a good one actually on about stuff like pictures because another one, mm. this this chappy sent a, uh, a rather graphic porn image over and whatever wow. else and says he wanted a picture back. And I'm quite good at my photoshopping, <laughs> aren't I? So <laughs> went on his profile, drew, drew round his head, got it cut out and I found two lovely young gentlemen uh, having... Making sweet, sweet love. Yeah, sweet love. One was sort of bent over, like in the crouch position. The other <laughs> chap was up to his nuts and guts behind him, having a having a lovely time. <laughs> Meat spin. Yeah. And I put the head of the one bent over. <laughs> onto, he was the head. He was the head. And I sent it back to him because he wanted a picture, and he didn't like it. And do you know what made me laugh? He called me sick. What? I know. If we're flinging mud dude, here, mate, dude. If we're flinging mud, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, throwing I'm shit at the wall and some yeah. little stick. <laughs> oh, I mean, dude. he's right, but that's yeah. not the point. Yeah. You are a dick. You are sick. <laughs> <laughs> you started it. <laughs> I really, I do enjoy this approach now, and I've, I've sort mm. of taken it on board. Uh, do you do this in the political sphere as well, or do you just do it when something comes at you and you give your opinion? Well, I've not got a strong opinion about anything. And I think that's mm. the key to happiness. I, I think so, man. <laughs> Don't get too involved with everything and be too passionate and, oh, I've got to, I've got to be right and whatever. Yeah, I don't, mm. I don't particularly care. But mm. a lot of people do, and you can use it to your advantage and just have a bit of banter with it. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, especially with the th things nowadays. We won't go too far day, down this because then we'll get into a conversation yeah. about politics yeah. and corona and then it just <laughs> goes mad. But yeah, if you just throw the odd... Don't... Because I've found even with like Corona, you've noticed like I've made some comments, mm. not saying hit this way or that way, mm. something in between. Here's but because the thing, there's so many people who are like on one side or the uh, other, yeah. So then you ready. get people getting mad, and I find that hilarious. So then I just give it the old acting thick and just asking daft questions that you know <laughs> is I'm saying it in a way that it's like I'm dumb and I don't understand. Mm, mm. But they then get so mad because mm. I've even asked that question and whatever, mm. and I'm just sat back drinking a can, pissing myself <laughs> laughing. Joe's saying, fuck, they get a job, you sad act. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, to be fair, I do that in when I go to the shops and, you know, people, oh, when I go to the checkout and the person behind there is telling me how doom and gloom it all is and mm. it's this way and this way. And again, I think we have a very similar perspective on life and how we align ourselves and not get too caught up in things, yeah. which I have done before. Yeah, of course. But I'll, I'll give her the time and space to talk, but I also play dumb a lot of the time to most people. Oh, I'll go on that when they're either a mask hater or a mask lover, I'm on their side like, oh, is it? Is that? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I've not built up a big enough perspective, but I love how riled they get up in real life, let alone on social media. Yeah. <laughs> but I say, you, in real life, I mean, you think about, well, I don't know, I mean, like, I've, you're probably the same as me. You've played team sports, mm -hmm. you've gone to, like, school and stuff, and you get on with people mm. through banter, so it's mm. Mickey taking you. I mean, some of the things you say to your friends, it's disgusting, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's horrible, some of the things, but it's banter, and you get yeah. on with your mate, and that's, and that's how you get together. <laughs> and then... When you're sort of talking to people in the real, like on on the social media thing, it seems to all get forgotten that forgotten that mm. you, you can just have a laugh. Yeah, you yeah. can just not take everything seriously mm. and say things, and it doesn't have to. It becomes the be all and end all for a lot of people. Yeah, and they're they're thinking it in their day. You know, when they've had an argument on Facebook. And then they're waiting for the next pop-up or next thing to arise. And then they've got to think on that. And then they're walking in the day. I've, I've done it before in the past mm. when I'm a younger Mikey. 
I've had to pull up on the side of the road to, uh, oh, someone's pinged, right, what have I got? I've, I've had a great idea, I need to say this thing now. <laughs> and it takes the time out of all my day because it consumes it and I'm thinking yeah. of it. But your beautiful way is, see when it, when it merges, have a look, humour, use humour, have exactly. a laugh, say something back and it doesn't affect you anymore, it's done, it's posted away, you've, you've made fun with it. Well, there's like it's a game. I, it's a yeah, game. it's a game. I mean, like some of the ones. Yeah, I, 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 I respond I to them. It. I respond to them, and then just put like and go at the end. Mm, mm. And now, anybody mm. reading that in the in the right mind, and somebody's going it's saying something, and then putting and go at the end is clearly going to be winding you up and waiting mm. for a response. But the fact that they respond says that that's what they want. Yeah, and you're giving yeah. them that platform, and the more they're responding, the more comments I'm getting. The posts going up. The more people are seeing it, the more reactions it's getting. The more mm. it's all about the views, mate. Mm. Yeah. So they're all mm -hmm. on there. People are viewing it. People are wanting to know where this conversation's going, <laughs> and I'm having a bit of banter. But then I go so far, and I do say some sort of piss taking things out of them and whatever. But yeah. at the end, after a, after a certain amount of time, once I've got to understand what they're about, mm. but I'm only joking with you, kid. No stress. I've, I've had a lovely night talking to you. It's been a right good giggle. <laughs> Are you a musician then? And then they tell them, tell me about themselves. Yeah. All again on the post, they're giving Would it. Would you say it's a good percentage more that you convert then or bring round? Yeah, I'd say, more I'd, so. Yeah, I'd say so. There's been quite a few that have come on and just said, "Oh God, it was like it was a throwaway comment," and they felt bad afterwards. Mm. And I was like, "Don't feel bad." You know what I mean? It is what it is. It, it was a good laugh because I don't think there's anything anyone can say to me that would upset me. Mm. I really mm. don't. I don't, <laughs> honestly don't care, really. Yeah. Do you know, and people say that sometimes, like, I'm not bothered what people think. Yeah. I genuinely see really straight do. through it. Yeah, and they do um, deep down. I genuinely don't. I mean, other than like family, loved ones, you know what I mean? They, mm, they, they mm, matter to you. Mm. But anyone else? I hate that throwaway comment. It's one of my worst comments I hear from people. I don't care what they think. I don't care. Yeah, because and then they can be rude to people as well on that premise. I don't care what you think. I'll say anything. Yeah. Mm, so, but it's a defensive thing. That is, again, it goes mm. back to the trolls. Why do they do it? Mm. Because they're upset. They're not happy in themselves. Mm. And they feel like that. Protective, yeah. Yeah, so... This is why I never say anything, because it's so easy. You could mm. say some horrible things. I mean, you could go mm. through the Facebook profile, you could look at the pictures, you could pick up, and you could be a right dickhead back to them. Mm. And, I'd be, and I'd be quite good at that as well, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I could, you could be horrible. But what are you gaining out of that? That person's clearly not all with it. Yeah. Why would you want to upset them even further? What does that make you as a person? <laughs> now, you've got to think about this as, who are you as a person? Mm. You going back at them and giving them abuse back, you know better than them, then are you? Because mm. you're the, you're turning into that person. You're vilifying. Mm. Yeah. You have got to go through life and be happy. Put a smile on people. The, the, the main goal in people's life is to make people happy, mm. because it makes you happy in a selfish way. But yeah, you do. yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree with that perspective. I, I love that quote. Um, being angry is like drinking poison and mm. expecting the other person to die. Yeah. And that's how you can be with your your comments and getting outraged by this you're behind your screen remember they don't know what you're going through no, so exactly. that feeling that's inside of you they're not experiencing so you're just killing yourself and stress is one of the biggest killers exactly so man. if you're getting worked up at every moment you'll end up with a haircut oh, like yes. this <laughs> my boy <laughs> <laughs> two brothers mitchell brothers <laughs> but that i think it really is, and how I want to help artists in some way, if I could, uh, coming through the ranks, young people yeah. who I've seen get caught up in the most turbulent, tenacious of arguments online. A, a good friend of mine actually sees men in this horrible light and keeps posting stuff up, but it's not being playful with it. It's not being, and I know the, the dick pic one is, that's a police matter, something else. Mm. But when you're looking at comments and I'm seeing them waste their time on throwing shit as far, hard and fast as they can and getting angry. I can tell when somebody's getting worked up and angry, trying to be factual and put mm, in yeah, points course, and get build it up. You're wasting your time. If they could learn this technique of have a bloody laugh, just don't yeah. take it too seriously. Seriously, this is nothing to your career if a, a dodgy comment or something no but then you've also got to look at why is that person doing that mm. because there will be a re everything has a reason yeah, to it yeah. and there nothing is just oh it is mm. there's a reason behind everything and you've got to give people that voice it's same as like say for example you're in a customer service job and at which i've done myself and you've mm. got people on you're on the phone 
and they're shouting at you. And I've and I've had it where I'm in an office and people are getting riled up by it. And yeah. Listen, back in the day, sometimes I did myself. But you make these mistakes to learn from them. Mm. If you spend your whole life angry and upset, what have you learned? Mm. Nothing. You mm. don't move anywhere. Whereas if you take it and understand it and realise that, that that person doesn't know you, they don't mm. know your circumstances, yeah. they can't even see your face. You are just a voice to them. Mm. They're angry. Let them vent. Let mm. them have a go. Mm. Let them swear. Let, amount of times. Swear one time, sir, and putting the phone down. No, let them swear. <laughs> let them have a shout. Let them go. Listen, let them call you every name under the sun. Mm. Does it matter? Do yeah. they know you? No, let them go. And that's what I found out very early on. And I let them go and I let them have a... Yeah. And at the end of it, like, have you finished? Right. Let me see what I can do for you, mate. <laughs> and, I, and I'll help you out. <laughs> have you ever bitten, though? Have, have you ever... Have I ever bitten? And regretted it? Have you ever done anything where you thought, oh, I, I, don't, I shouldn't I, have let myself do go you know there? what? Personally, I don't regret anything. No. Because everything's for a reason. Have mm. I bitten and have I made mistakes? Yeah, of course I have. I'm human. Mm. Everyone mm. does. Everyone does. And the reason that I probably am like this now... It's because I'm versed to it and I'm used to it. Mm. So I've been through these things. I've experienced different things. And you get used to it over mm. time. And you understand what's the best way to... Approach this. Approach any situation, mm. yeah. So, yeah, of course I've... Of course I've what, you're telling me that I've never lost my temper? Yeah. I've, never, I've never kicked <laughs> off at things that I shouldn't have done? But even with the comments and stuff, have you left a comment somewhere where you thought, unnecessary, James? Not needed. <laughs> probably, probably more than one occasion. Yeah. <laughs> but did I think it funny at the time, and do I still think it's funny? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it is what it is. So, but yeah, but it's probably sometimes I've I've said one or two things. I'm not so bad at it now because mm. obviously you've got you get better at it. Yeah, there there yeah. was a couple of times like with the only the only negative one we had on our Facebook negative thing was he'd mentioned something. And this and it did come across as harsh, and probably because the thing is, you can't you can't please everyone in life. And like even now doing this podcast, there'll be somebody watching this going, "This guy's a twat." What a set of dicks! <laughs> yeah, what a pair of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it is what it is. But yeah, so this guy basically commented and said we're shit and whatever else. And oh, you know, he had to go to us for um, playing cover songs. Mm. How dare you play cover songs and make it <laughs> and, and making <laughs> money off all the people? Have you never heard of Green Bay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, because when I'm at a wedding and they're playing a wedding, no, I'm not doing covers. Mm. No, we play our own stuff and you're yeah. going to dance to it. You know, fuck off, mate. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I just made a tongue because a load of people jumped on and started giving them abuse, like saying, fuck off, these are good and whatever. And I put the throwaway comment of, leave him alone, guys, because at least whilst he's talking to me, he's not chatting up kids online. <laughs> <laughs> Banter, as far yeah. as I was concerned. <laughs> yeah. But he left, a he left a comment on our thing saying, basically, do not book these bands. They called me a paedophile and all this. Yeah. I was like, well, I didn't call you a paedophile. <laughs> you know what I mean? I may have implied. <laughs> yeah. Get your word in right. Yeah, and I didn't yeah. imply. It was banter. It wasn't... <laughs> You know what I mean? But anyway, then we had a me and him had a back and forth for ages. But he thinks he's talking to Lady Rose. So he thinks he's talking to the woman. Mm. Started coming out with some horrible stuff. man. Trying, yeah, trying to be as rude as he could. And I was coming back back and forth. And in the end, he's like, I'm going to turn up to one of your gigs. And I'm going to do this. And I went, do it, mate. And I sent a picture of me sat there laughing. and goes, I can't wait to meet you, kid. <laughs> and then his demeanour changed because he's talking to a man then. Oh. And he completely flipped around and was like, well, I, I don't agree with the way that you said it. And, mm. and uh, So he's a sexist. <laughs> I've got, do you know what? I've got the whole transcribe. I, kept, I screenshot it because I thought it would be yeah, hilarious course, person. Course. I'll send it over to you. You can have a look through. So it's a long old, uh, long old battle. <laughs> but I, even then, I'm not getting upset. Mm. I'm thinking it's hilarious. But looking back, I probably shouldn't have made that mm, comment because mm. it was a bit of a childish yeah. thing to say <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that for I think it's fucking more funny <laughs> <laughs> I thought that one you gave me the other day about spitting his mum uh, his mum should have spat him out oh yeah I, and about I, spitting <laughs> yeah, I sent that over I looked at it back and I thought do you know what I'm going to have to just delete this because I, I felt all dirty That's <laughs> oh bless him <laughs> yeah. I don't know how he's going to take that no but it wasn't just it wasn't just your mum should have spat you out or mm. whatever it was a a long winded way around it it mm. goes you can't, this is the thing you've got to do it if you're doing anything put your effort yeah, into it yeah. make it a full story of an insult <laughs> going back into 1973 when he was conceived you know what I mean you're putting yeah. dates in and everything mate <laughs> Yeah. saying how much his dad's <laughs> disappointed building a story <laughs> just off this yeah. one line of spitting yeah yeah that, that's that's true actually if you're just throwing Shame. an off the cuff comment back out it it just gets biting at each other like yapping 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 but if you can just go create a whole story and make something out of it and send that across when they look at it they must go 
I, I'm either I'm in or I'm out. There's yeah. no in between. If you're throwing little words out, it's it's not no point. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. <laughs> no. So it's all got to be done tongue in cheek as well. Because yeah, like yeah. a lot of the times when there I is say, an art to this, then yeah. So like you could say some horrible things, but it's not about that. Don't upset them. Let them have their thing. Say something tongue in cheek, a bit just cheeky. Playful. Yeah, yeah, playful, cheeky. cheeky. Yeah. I mean like. And at the end of the day, it goes one or two ways. They can mm. either then carry on hating you, but they're still commenting. Meet you down in shops and kick your teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> no, try. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, the, um, no, you've just got to... It, it depends how you do it. It's like anything in life. It's how... You, you've got to judge a situation. And, mm. I mean, if somebody's just coming on and it's... It's like like, like you're saying, like, oh, they're going to kick your teeth and whatever mm, else. Mm, That's mm. not the people you're banned to. Just get rid. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't get down that route. Know what you're willing to give. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Don't be like, because if, if if people are like that, and but nine times out of ten mm. people aren't like. Have you that. had that? What people threatening you? Yeah, that's what I mean. I sent him that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> but no, but Mate, nine, nine times out of ten they don't. Back in the day, the amount of people coming down here to box mad off. <laughs> so far, I think that come a police matter because yeah. uh, this lad and like. Obviously over a girl, but then it turned to social media and back and forth, back and forth. Because mm. I was boxing at this club and she came down to watch and then messaged me. I think he was a partner and had her on surveillance. Not a nice guy. Okay. But we were back and forth and most of my stuff was tongue-in-cheek playful. But he's like, no, I'm seriously coming there to kill you. Mm. <laughs> and then he messaged me, mum. You ain't got me mum involved. Your son's done this, talking to my missus, doing all that. I'm going to kill him. So then, yeah, she gets the police involved. <laughs> well, yeah, this. no, but that, that, that's Yeah, of course. We've, We've gone, got, that's, that's like the different that, end of the spectrum. All I mean is we could give out this advice and put it there. And even when people are getting very aggressive or doing something. But even wait, then don't go back at them. Be yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Like... There's no like you won't. The My old is, self would have said, "I'm going to come and kill you back." Yeah, but if you start doing stuff like that, yeah. then then it does. You've it becomes more. Step back, be yeah. like, like if he's saying, "I'm going to bat you," I could beat you up, mate. Mm. You probably could, mate. Mm. Probably could. You know what I mean? What you? What's a reputation? What, why? What are you trying to? What are you trying to prove? It's just such a a new world conversation, and it's so funny mm. of how what we're talking about now because this is just bullying back in the day. I forgot I what teach. we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So I think just... everyone else does. They're just listening to sound now. <laughs> <laughs> I just find the whole conversation quite funny of how we have to conduct ourselves on social media. I, I do also think there is takeaways, and it is important, and people could use a little bit of this knowledge do you have any other instances that i can put up on youtube that mm. you think that needs to be seen that was too funny to not be on the youtube clip <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said, there's, there's been quite a few and it's, it's, it's just i don't know it's, you just take it as it comes but i think the main one that there does need to be up there is the guy actually just commenting to me about how much it's changed him, you know what I mean. Don't yeah, you don't yeah, have to yeah. don't don't put the whole conversation because yeah. I, I didn't send you the whole thing because it's a personal thing and mm. respect to the lad. And to be fair to him, without naming names, he's still on my Facebook and mm. I still have, he still likes some of the comments exactly. or whatever else. And but for him to changed by just a bit of a Mickey Tate comment mm. and it's it's changed his whole like outlook on life. Mm, mm. That's what needs to be sort of yeah. sort of looked at. I mean, all right, we have this the humour ones. Like I mean, even last night was getting one. Do you know what I mean? It's just some guy giving us a... Do you think you get more than most people because this is your approach, though? Do, well, the, the, are they wanting a response? Yeah, well, it is. I mean, it's, you've got, like... Th we've got, like, 30, nearly 30,000 yeah, followers yeah. on the page, but when we're getting shared to things like music crowns, they don't know who you are. They don't mm. know our situation. They just think... Oh, the, fa the, the well, not, not, I don't mean this in a big-headed way, but they think, oh, they're famous. Mm, mm. So it doesn't matter what you say. Yeah. And, and it's been and happening. Here's something for me to judge. Yeah, and all this has bad. been happening for years. I mean, people. Yeah. I mean, before social media, you used to go down to the football, and you'd got people on a football pitch getting shouted at by some fat bloke who mm. can't kick a big bag of wind mm. to save his life. Couldn't mm. get in the school team, but he's telling somebody who has been one of the best players at their school, scouted the, out the best players in the academy, best mm. players uh, to, to get to a professional yeah, level. Yeah. Do you realise how good you have to be to be a professional footballer? Uh, hey, you say that though, but can you remember when Harry Redknapp got the uh, somebody in that kept shouting at him? Well, match? exactly. Yeah. But then he, he got him on. 
giving some boots, play he scored. He didn't <laughs> it got rolled out. Did it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the bit they don't mention. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what's that then? It was, it was offside, but he did manage to put it oh, in the net. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was one of them, but it, 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 let's, not, let's not ruin, ruin a good it. yarn. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, damn, mate, you've yeah. ruined it for me now. Oh, sorry, mate. Because that's such Edit a good that anecdote. Bit out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about the guy that scored when he came on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you mean you've got them people there who are nowhere near as good, but you're telling somebody who you're not as good at that this shit. Mm. But because I pay my money, and that's what it is. I, I pay my money, I pay your wages, so you're crap. And they used to give, mm. and, and and it's been going on for years. And you've got all these people shouting abuse at these top flight professionals mm. who these are they wouldn't even get even close to playing like semi professional football, mm. or let alone professional. And they're giving them abuse. So it's been happening for years, and it. So you, you've also got to appreciate that as well. So when you're online and you're taking abuse, you've got to always... I mean, the, the main, like, you're a big boxing fan. Mm. You've, you've done boxing yourself and mm. you know how hard the sport is. I was, and, uh, that was what was in my head then, was when I was in the ring back in the day, amateur fighting, and just hearing me dad or loads of people, Mikey, jab him, jab him. I'm like, my arm's dead. I'm, I'm knackered. I don't think I've got anything in the tank, but they've got a different perspective. They oh, yeah, don't know what it, you've because got. It is, it's easy, to, easy from to the shout outside yeah, to shout. That was what it was. In my mind. Those who can do, those who can't, fucking yell abuse, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's what, and that's all it is. So, but the, the point was, what was going to go down with the boxing mm. is that is one of the hardest things you can do. And you see, mm. you've been through it. Whether it's the training, whether it's the the diet side of things, mm. making weight, you know what I mean. Mm. That's Getting it, in that's, the ring and being, and that's the even one before thing you've got in. At. That's yeah. even before you've got yeah. in the ring. Not only that, you're getting in the ring, you're sparring. Even mm. in sparring, you could lose your life, you can yeah. lose your yeah. health. There's so much sacrifice that these guys have to go through, mm. right? They get up there, and some fat little dickhead <laughs> gets his keyboard <laughs> out, starts telling them how crap they are and what yeah. they should have done, and oh, he deserve getting banged out, yeah, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> mm. Who the hell does that? Mm. Who's got the? I mean, I'm not being funny, but like these people who are giving them abuse, they're not even the hardest guy in there. Pub, you know mm, what I mean? Mm, yeah, and they're talking to Tyson. I mean, like yeah. Tyson Fury is getting abuse. Now, if I describe Tyson Fury, he's not. He's nearly seven foot. <laughs> he's a, built like a brick shit house. Yeah. Hard as nails, gypsy. Mm, you know what mm. I mean. If he came in your pub, would you start telling him he was shit? No, <laughs> but because you're behind a screen and they can't see you, that, that's fine then. Or because you're mm. sat in the stands, yeah. then that's fine. Mm. And then mm. this is what you've got to understand. So if if you're an artist out there and you're listening to this and you're getting abuse, mm. like the heavyweight champion, gypsy, hard as nails bastard, still gets abuse off people. Mm. Mm. It's going to happen. It is what it is. How can you take it seriously? Because these people are the one people in life that should have the most respect. Mm. Because they're like every kid's dream, isn't it? Like being the heavyweight champion of the world. Mm. Nobody achieves it apart from the select. And even he can't get respect off people. Mm. So it just is what it is. So if you you look at that, you think, well, why, why would I get bothered about what anybody else says? Mm. If even if the, the top elite people, can't get yeah. can't get the respect that they deserve. Yeah. So you are. It's, it's a sad fact of life, but it is life. So how do you deal with it? Do you get upset? Do you get sad? You're going to spend your whole life sad because, unfortunately, you're very naive if you think that every single person in this world loves you mm. or thinks you're brilliant because mm. it just isn't. I love that other quote as well. If everybody loves you, you're doing something wrong. Uh, which is but there's that as yeah, well. Yeah, take that. No, but even the nicest on, people but, in the world. No. Yeah. And also, you've just got to understand that it's there is negatives in life. Mm. If life was brilliant all the time and everything was sweet, we'd all have diabetes. Mm, mm, mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You've got to go with the rough with the smooth. Cake. Yeah, man, you wouldn't appreciate the mm, good times. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to go through bad times in life. You've got to go through the, the, the shit to get to the good and appreciate mm. the good things. Yeah. And that goes with comments. That goes with whatever you do in life. Mm. And, and I think nowadays that everyone expects, especially, again, social media, and, and it's been touched upon on various podcasts various forms yeah people live their life by this fake world of people showing oh look how good i'm living look how good i am Mm. and then they get they think that their life ain't good enough the key to life is contentment Mm. and being happy with who you are Mm. and what you have not not what you've got or what you need who you are what you have and be happy with it and if you're not that's when you Mm. you look at change how can i change it how can i be content and that's why 
the first thing you started with in this podcast is so powerful and important. Mm. Don't take it too seriously, but don't take the the good stuff too much and hold on to it exactly. or the bad stuff if you no. hold on to either you're going to become an unbalanced person yeah so just all of it ha- have it on board take it in yeah but be your most truest self which is balanced and honest and what my takeaway from this is is the not taking it serious part <laughs> 100%. i think that that's what keeps me content because i felt it before where i have got invested i have got angry i've got upset by things and i lose my contentment but the more i listen to james and i listen to your ways and i see the way you're dealing with things it's such a an integral part to take away i think it is for people yeah definitely mm. but i mean it might not be right for some. I mean, mm. there will be people listening to this thinking, oh, this guy don't know what he's talking about. But there might be that one person mm. who listens to this and goes, you know what, it's right, you know. I should, well, they, why, why do I care? Why the am only I people that have probably stuck through this podcast to this point are the ones that do feel themselves get that affected by trolls or mm. or how ultimately also have a laugh and they could have a laugh with us on yeah, times yeah, they've yeah. shared through it. Damn right. But mostly it's people that are going to be affected by it really struggle with comments and don't know how to align themselves so if they have listened to this point i hope what you just said then i'm going to get that snippet out because it was so good but that's the truth for me that's such a good way of aligning yourself and being i think it's important man it's definitely in in everything you do i mean whether you've got a religious stance or you haven't you've just got to understand that you get one shot to life and You've got to enjoy it. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm, if you yeah. spend your life angry and worrying about what people think about you, you'd never leave the house. You mm. know what I mean? Embrace it. And pre- appreciate the little things in life. You know what I mean? Mm. God, I sound like a right hippie here, but go for a walk. <laughs> like, look at the nature. Yeah. Look at what we've got here. Mm. And you're worrying about the little things about some clown who's you've never met before, mm. what they think about mm. what you do. Who cares, man? Who are these people? Who are these people? Is is, is it done for you after that? Do you know when you've sent the comment, you've had a laugh, you've shown Joe, you put your phone in your pocket, do you go out then and just enjoy? You don't, you're not thinking about it constantly. um, In terms of what could I say next? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I think about that, but does it, does it affect me in terms of, does it change anything in my day? No, Mm, not mm. in the slightest. Yeah. Why should it? Who, who are they? Mm. When the same as if you get too many good comments, mm. if you let that sink in too much, scrolling, 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 and then you you you're looking and it's like a drug mm. because you just you, you yeah. get you want the endorphins behind yeah, somebody true. saying that, and you then you spend your life looking for people's appreciation, uh, improvement, mm. uh, looking for appreciation through improvement. Uh, yeah, approve. <laughs> <laughs> too many A's. I lost I lost <laughs> my uh, words there. Yeah. <laughs> so you look constantly looking out for. Uh, people to say that you're brilliant that mm. you're this that the other and then when you don't get it then you get the drop so even if it's not a negative comment you've missed it and then you're mm. like well i've done something wrong then if it's not so that's what i mean you you can't get trans it you can't get transfixed on anything mm. whether it be good or bad mm. stay leveled stay focused be yourself mm. that's the main thing as well be yourself yeah. i mean some people will not like you for it and that's just a, that's just the life mm. but these people who don't like you for it that's up to them and you, and you remember the good ones you, you forget about your good people that have shared it or liked it or cared and because yeah. we create we make Don't music know. we create art and somewhat we do want approval we do want people to appreciate the art that we're giving out yeah or i wouldn't be putting it on youtube i wouldn't be putting it anywhere because there's a little side of me that creates something and then wants to be seen wants to be valued wants to make something of it 100 percent. so when the good people, the ones you that, that cared for your art from the start, your family, your friends, your kind ones, yeah, do value them. I'm not saying put them on a pedestal and just look at them and look at this. I mean, family, family is slightly different. I mean, that mm. is, it is. It, you do look for the approval for mm. them because you, mm. you, you, it's in in your brain from yeah, being a yeah. little kid. You look for their approval because they're the people who. That's the reason you're still here because they've looked after you enough that you've not mm. died. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do naturally look at them as. Mm you want their opinion you want to know what to do next and it is what it is but my main sort of thing is like uh people online mm. uh, and things like that they don't mean anything to mm. you mm. you know what i mean and listen if they if they're nice and you get on with them be nice to them have a nice conversation with them and get on with people in life That's always do like. that yeah but don't get that was too... what was in my mind i've had before where people have spent time to write me a lovely comment say something 
really appreciative yeah, and kind. And I've never probably said anything back. And then when I've had a nasty thing, I've gone down this big, tenacious rant back with them. Yeah. This, this, I'm talking ages ago, man. No, no, That's no, no, what yeah, sprang yeah. into my head. But with those good people, the ones that have... Every every post I put out, they're there. They're saying mm. something. And even to just acknowledge them, put a, a little love heart thing or just say, cheers, man, I really do appreciate it. Here's my link. It's, it's, a, it's a nice way of acting. It's a nice way of being. Yeah, and we always try to do it, like, you're on the Lady Rose page. That's what I value of you, again. I always like try, because if somebody's taking their time to... Yeah, it, it's, it. Do you know what? It's hard. Because sometimes when you've got, like, 500 comments, it is hard. And you mm. do miss... You, we probably mm. do miss the odd one, but yeah. we do try our best... If somebody's taken the time to say well done or whatever, yeah. just to give them a thanks, you know what yeah. I mean? And when I say like, sort of, when I said about like nothing in the top comments and nothing in the bottom mm. comments, you don't nothing it, you, you respond it and you appreciate it, yeah. but don't get too consumed consumed in it mm. and don't, as I say, because then you can get arrogant and then you f forget who you are. Mm. Never forget who you are, or where yeah. you came from, yeah. you know what I mean? We've all got a past and whether it's a, a rough past or a, a smooth past or whatever, never forget who it was mm. that made you or and made you become who you are now you know what I mean and, mm. and I think that's a lot of people do that as well and it's always important to remember where you came from no matter mm. where you came from I, I, yeah I'm gonna go and reflect on this whole podcast because it is it's been you're gonna really become good. a monk aren't you <laughs> I think so there's, <laughs> there's been some awesome takeaways with this I suppose what I was thinking of then is times where we've had the baby recently yeah. um I've been very much in adult life my life my ego my story and journey uh sad thing recently i lost a very good friend um awesome woman oh. and she used to really support me she's the reason i've got a book out her partner as well mm. clive mason awesome helped me throughout everything she got in touch with me after commenting always on my stuff yeah. and just wanted a poem making and i told her i was too busy you know and i thought you know I said to her, later down the line, I'll write you a poem. I'm going to do something sweet for you. I know you're mm. in a tricky time, but I'm just really busy now. Yeah. But saying all that, I've noticed days where I've spent a lot of my time saying bullshit to people or putting stuff out there. Mm. And I've told somebody amazing that I've not got time for and I couldn't do this small thing that I know I could have done. Mm. And I spent a lot of time doing that other thing. Yeah. I suppose... A one takeaway for me, just on my own personality yeah. and, and what I think for myself, value time and value how you allocate it and value people in yeah. that time. And I would have, if I could have, I wouldn't have had a go on a sport post about transphobia, let's say, something <laughs> down that line, which you've seen before, but going, yeah. ba -da 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 -da. and I would have wrote her a poem instead and took some time in that. So I think... There's something in that. There's a there's a gem to be taken away. Well, that's that goes down. I mean, that's something. It's complete, hindsight as well. Well, it's hindsight mm. in that respect, but it's also something completely different. When we're talking, we're talking about social media now because we're focusing mm. on that particular subject. Yeah. But what I would also say to you is because it, unfortunately, and I hate it, but it is an important part of yeah. being a musician or a yeah. and if you've got like a business. You kind of do nowadays need social media and it mm. does it does help mm. but don't let it consume your yeah. life yeah. so as much as we're talking about it now we're talking about it as a subject but it mm. isn't my life yeah i don't sit on facebook all day every day uh so so like you're on about like you've gone on this post and it's consumed it's been this like mm. when i'm talking to these twitter tr uh, facebook trolls or mm. whoever it's a small percentage of my day yeah i've had a quick look i put it back down and then i'm back on with doing something mm. else so you've got to not let this me this as I say this it, it's not good for your brain to be mm, constantly on mm, this phone mm. looking for what people think of you looking for other crap and filling yeah, your mind yeah. with stuff get out there enjoy it have it like you were saying you could have written a poem listen uh, but that was a in my mind that was a social media thing because I would have just put a 12 line poem on that message that she sent me yeah. and sent something back there but I've wasted time in this avenue, on this post, that maybe didn't need my energy at that point. I, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, on social mean. media, if you've got business mm. calls going on, or you've got people to message back, I've got loads of messages now I need to message back. Yeah, That's something I do feel for people. You're saying, have fun with it, enjoy it, do this with it. I would go through everything important to you first, 
that you need to actually get done and then look look at having your, your jokes and kicks does that make sense to you have you got 100 percent mm. like so if if you obviously i've been replying to these things mm. but i've not let it consume a day yeah that's like it. for example i've not missed out on something because of that mm. if you know what i mean and i'm this is this sounds like i'm having a dig at you because you said that and i didn't I did, i'm not meaning it like this i just mean the way i've done it is i use social media as a tool for me yeah it yeah. doesn't consume me it doesn't decide what i'm doing it's just a tool that i use to help us with mm, the music mm. you know what i mean because otherwise if i didn't if i wasn't a musician i wouldn't use facebook yeah yeah because I, I get yeah i couldn't give a talk any <laughs> what anyone's got to, what they've had for dinner or the whatever only, you know what the I mean? reason i'm playing um devil's advocate and mm. speaking on this form because you said at the start that joe does do some of the business side of things yes yeah. and then you've got this bit to play yeah artist i'm gonna say like myself yeah, yeah. rhythmical might I'm trying to spin Bands. all the plates yeah, with yeah, all of, of it. So I think young people, artists, people watching this mm -hmm. that are doing it all for themselves and aren't tag teaming it or double teaming it, mm. I think there is a takeaway to go allocate your time correctly and properly when you're in these but, places. So, I, so, so say, for example, you're on Facebook. Do you just go on, put the comment on and put it down? Or... You go on Facebook, scroll, 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 and then realise you've killed an hour yeah. going through shit you've not yeah. even read. That's what I mean, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. So that's what I mean about doing it in the right way. Mm. So, for example, somebody's made a comment, it's binged up, yeah. re read the comment, reply, put it down. That's what I, I think I wanted to hear I scratching away at. Mm. That's how trying to understand how you conduct it. Yeah. Because somewhat looking at them, they seem very time-consuming, and you think, oh, wow, how does he put all this time together and get stuff done. But then when you've explained that to me, I understand how you conduct your time. So some of these ones, you know, where they're getting mad and they're yeah. like replying and they're giving it all to Billy Big Bollocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. yeah. And I'm replying, I'm sat outside on a sun lounger with a can yeah. on my day off, having a laugh, <laughs> sorted. <laughs> okay. And then it'll just be, and then, for example, another one I'll, men I'll comment and I'll not reply for a couple of hours because I'm doing something. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And I'm busy and... But the thing is, what I would say is, like, with that poem thing, I wouldn't beat yourself up about no. something like that. And I know, because you, you play on your mind, but that just shows you're a good person, because mm. you've got that empathy and that thinking, and, oh, I should have done, but mm. it's, it's good life. To it, maybe not have regrets, but it's good to reflect. Yeah, reflect. Because you learn from that. If I had no regrets or no reflection, mm. I'd never... Um, what would you say um, align myself accordingly exactly, so next yeah. time when somebody who's given me their time and, and listened to me and helped me out on my journey mm -hmm. and asked for something in return I'm, I'm there for them I'm going to do it and that's the thing mm. that, that, that's what I do find difficult it is, a, it is a different avenue I definitely know that but I think it's good for this conversation because it's all been social media based very much on trolls mm. but there is lots of ways of how we use social media and yeah. thinking of helping artists but, i mean the the thing you're saying there but it's also important to help each other because mm. i found that a lot and i've never understood this way of thinking mm. if somebody's doing something like whether it be you with your bus podcast or mm. i if it's a friend of mine or somebody i know i want to help them mm. and i want them to do well and if they do better than me yeah and they go out that's brilliant yeah do you know what i mean but i found that there's a lot of people who I don't know whether it's a, a touch of jealousy or it's a touch mm -hmm. of the feel that if other people aren't doing well, they'll mm -hmm. do better, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I don't, it doesn't work like that. Help each other. Look, yeah, he's the old man farm he's repping, podcast. He's yeah. repping. Don't forget to watch this Help on YouTube. Help your friends out, man. <laughs> Shop yeah. locally. Help people out, man. Small businesses. Awesome. Look after each other because you're not even, if you think for one second. What's he saying to you? I want to drink out of your head with a mug. <laughs> <Pardon? laughs> <laughs> I need some Lady Lady Rose merch. Ah, I told right, you. I've okay, told yeah, you. Yeah. That is in the pipeline. We are looking into that. But uh, yeah. Mugs. <laughs> yeah, but the mugs that we got, the mug mm. that we got, wasn't from Vistaprint. Yeah. It was from Cade Creations in Clifton. Yeah, Shout good, out. good friend of mine. Brill. Yeah brilliant stuff to do key rings to do t-shirts to do anything where you want subliminal i say the, these yeah Lee Delau from is Knott's it, is it musician oh rhythmical might one here you got the old oh you've got the rhythm got yeah, 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 yeah yeah it's cool man <laughs> exactly so look after your local yeah. business I said subliminal I don't think that's the right term what's the sublimation that's the mm, one mm. so anything sublimation they can print on as well awesome and then you've got your what was that I'll one again touch Lee Delau 
lead it up. Nottingham based musician. All of these will, lads. will be in the uh, comments Link below. Links description. Below, yeah. <laughs> I'm just learning all this as well. I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll give another shout out as well mm. because uh, Jared was on. Oh, uh, what a lovely lad. And another one as well. Like, if Fantastic you look at people's guy. demeanour and how their uh, character and how to, how to. Yeah, and how to. Con- Jared's a performance mm. look at. He's so calm. Because yeah. we say we was in the studio and he, he sort of gave a bit of an anecdote about like Lady Rose won't mind us saying. Cause we'd had some bad experiences. Not every single one. We had we I mean we've worked with some really good producers. I mean Chris Bucknell's worked with this before, brilliant guy. Mm, but mm. we have had some bad ones and we've lost a lot of money. Right. So we went in there a bit sort of apprehensive. Yeah. And there was one little bit that I wasn't too sure of, and I was like, "Oh no, I was panicking, not me. Come on, what's wrong with that? Why is it not working?" And he was, and had he had a different demeanour, it could have been completely different. He mm. could have been, if he was panicking as well, I could have been like, "Look, look stop it. Let's, I'll wrap it up or whatever." Yeah. But he wasn't. He was so calm. He's like, mm. "Chill, oh, you daft lad, chill." Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What a great attitude. He's yeah. a proper top lad, what and that's Electric attitude. Bear Studio. So if anybody yeah. needs any recording doing, they are brilliant, mate. I They're feel like we're going to go down our, our friends list, aren't we? Now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's got a business. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm like. Yeah, but the it, thing it's is, great. Yeah, and the, that, that's what you've got to be. Right? Rather than sort of um, trying to downcry people or, or be je- don't be jealous of anyone, right? If you see somebody and you think that they're doing well, hey, try and be better, mm. but don't stop their progress. Help them, help them up. You know, it comes what I mean? back to the start for you as well. What you said, be positive with it. Just be use it to your advantage. Social 100%. media, yeah, yeah. help your mates out, help yourselves out, have a bit of fun with it. Not serious. That, yeah, never take yourself perfect. serious in life, man. It, it really is. They're the bullet points for me. I'm going to write them on my wall. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm painting it at the Make minute. a poem about it. <laughs> if you don't, if you, if you spend, if I see you on Facebook and you're not writing me a poem, I'm going to be fuming. <laughs> Am I, I was going to just say, imagine now I look at my phone, I'm like, having an argument. Mike is like that comment and I'm straight on. <laughs> you go and die in the snow now, I'm frozen. <laughs> no, I should have wrote that other poem. <laughs> 100%. Dude, I would have you back on all this. I think we could talk boxing. I think we could talk just you as a geezer. <laughs> you seem like an Ebenezer. hundred <laughs> I'll, percent. I'll leave it on that because it is f***ing freezing in here. It is, man. You've got to go and work you didn't in this, think this through. Point. You didn't think this through, did I've you? Got got this I've got a heater. I've got a heater. It pulls a lot of power, all right? <laughs> so it never gets used. So I've got to turn it off you've all got, the time. You've got a radiator <laughs> ornament. I'm allowed it on for 10 minutes of the day. <laughs> Quick, we're gonna get some work done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, yeah. If we could, Give we'll some just takeaways on it. Some takeaways on. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't worry about what anybody thinks about mm. you. Yeah. Be content mm. with what you've got. Strive for more. Push for more. But never be unhappy with who you are. You know mm. what I mean? And mm. just yeah, just have a laugh, man. Because mm. you only get one shot at life. Guys, Always look on the bright side of life. Have a bloody laugh, you kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a part of the Old Farm Bus, Back of the Bus Sessions. You know where to find them. Do you want to just say it one more time? Where do you find all your stuff, your material? Lady Rose. I think it was everywhere other than Tinder, wasn't it? But <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen you on Tinder. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Maybe Giant said anything to you yet. Could have been on there. <laughs> could have been another ugly bald lad, to be fair. <laughs> Thank um, you for being a part of this, guys. Genuinely. I've not done my list. Oh, your list gone. Oh, bloody hell, oh, man. do a list. And then I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> Would you like to do a list? Yes, Joe's. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Yeah, safe. I didn't think you were doing your list. I was bloody doing and your you list. you said everywhere other than Tinder. <laughs> that's, that's a good spectrum to go from. Yeah, everywhere other than go Tinder. Include... List, and then every, list. list everywhere there's possible to find you. I don't want to bloody do it now. <laughs> You've ruined it. We was, we was proper on it. We was, do you know what? Do you know what? I thought I'd actually made a friend. Do you know when we were doing this? I thought I'd actually it come somewhere. It felt real, didn't it? It, it did. felt real. And then well, you, guess what? And then you just this showed you. It's all just social media facade. <laughs> should, do you know I'm on about trolls and stuff and about don't listen to what anybody says and I'm genuinely nearly in tears here. <laughs> Proper shot me down. Then. <laughs> Could you oh, imagine? Yeah, I'm ruining this whole podcast. <laughs> but at the end, I just do something slightly mean to you, and you're just like, "You big bully! Yeah. <laughs> you're a dick!" <laughs> <laughs> I really value what you were saying to me, though. Going on and just giving you an angry face. Angry face. What the fuck is that about? Can I just jump onto that one? Angry yeah, face. On. Who the fuck does that? <laughs> Sits there and just goes, "Yeah, angry." Angry face. Who the? I, I see that. Um, Sorry, I forgot that's going to bump. You can't do angry face on YouTube. But 
sometimes when I look at really good artists that I love as well, yeah. like Laurie Illingworth, um, I'm friends with the Sunflower Thieves, some people are... I respect when they got a thumb down. You thumb down. <laughs> you Boo! Just... <laughs> That's essentially what they're saying. Boo! You really? sad act. Yeah, Chloe, <laughs> Chloe Rogers. People just, it's a lovely song filmed in a nice field or meadow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> calm, collected, and somebody goes, no. Yeah. No, I really, no. But <laughs> what, what is that? But then, so what that, is that? So one, how pathetic is that? Mm, mm. But two, how could you be upset by that? Yeah, Somebody's yeah. giving me a thumb down. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Behave, Don't worry, like. guys. Yeah, well, Should we go now? <laughs> I need a wee, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. Can getting... we cross swords? <laughs> <laughs> what, well, send a picture to Joe on the Lady Rose page? <laughs> guys, we're going to go now. I know you've stayed for this. Hey, up, Nan. How many hours has this been? <laughs> Jesus Christ. (laughs) Big love, guys. Peace. Peace, love, and everything in between.